Hey guys, it's Andy from Heart Threads, and today we have a really special story because it spans multiple continents and affects thousands of people. All because of one seven-year-old's idea. I don't know about you, but I had a lot of ideas as a child. I still think a castle made of candy is a pretty good idea. That one hasn't happened yet. But 15 years ago, one little boy was so determined that he made his idea into a reality. This is Winston. And this is Winston 15 years ago. During the years between these two pictures, Winston came up with an idea that changed the lives of thousands and thousands of people. Winston and his mom show us that you can make a difference no matter who you are or how old you are. I can't wait for you to see this story. Let's roll it. I had always wanted to go to Africa because I grew up in a small southern town. You know, the country song where you think the world falls off at the end of the your city limits is sort of what I was. And I said, well, I'm going to Africa one day. And I really didn't know what that meant. You know, as time went on, I learned and I said, well, you know, I really want to take my son. And when I landed there, it changed my life forever and changed his life forever. When we were traveling from South Africa to Swaziland, I saw an older woman and a young boy and they looked like they had been walking for like a really long time. I felt like a need to try and help those people in particular because they reminded me of like my grandmother and I, except for the fact that, you know, we would have been in a car getting all the medicine and items that she needs. So I thought, how could I get a mode of transportation to help empower people? And I dawned on bicycles and I told my mom that I wanted to ship bikes to Africa and she kind of looked at me like I was a little crazy. When he was only 10 years old, I thought, well, he's, he's going to grow out of this idea. Well, he kept talking about it, you know. He kept talking about the woman in Africa. How does she get her medicine? How does she get her food? And I was a single mom, and I'm like, I, I, I don't know, you know. And I'm, I'm just kind of like being nice and trying to ignore him. But then <laughs> his birthday came around, and he said, I want you to send a bike to that woman in Africa. Well, at that point, we were sending bikes. start in fifth grade like I got my friends together and we had like a little meeting and we decided that we were going to do a collection that, well it kind of foreshadowed what Wheels, at, Wheels to Africa would be because our idea was oh we'll get 50 bikes you know and we hold the collection and we get 250. Me and my friends were in fifth grade, we're elementary schoolers and we're running around getting the bikes and you know ever since that day it's just kind of took off from there. We quickly realized that when dealing with Africa it's tricky sometimes. What we decided to do was do the whole process ourselves and uh, we just decided to take bikes to Tanzania and start distributing them ourselves. First time we'd really gone and done it on our own. We encountered more issues and everybody kept telling us we were not gonna get our bikes. And I kept saying to him, we're gonna get these bikes because we're representing all the people that believe in us. So I kept saying, oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And we were there for six weeks and we were about to leave and we got a breakthrough. They are just hopping up and down and screaming and yelling. It just makes it all worthwhile and it's just the greatest feeling. It's like, I don't know that I've ever seen a kid in the United States as excited as these kids were. You have a new bike. Ah! <laughs> Bikes, you know, they benefit all types of people. We were at a school and one of the teachers said to me, if these young ladies have bikes, it gives them safety. Because when they walk to school down these roads that are miles long, 
anything can happen. Another example would be like a lot of the women in Africa, they, they go to the market. You'll see women carrying these, these things on their heads that are like, you know, 80 to 100 pounds. But when they get a bicycle and they can put all their goods on the bicycle. It's, it's just life changing. One bicycle usually changes at least five lives. You'll see the whole family on the bike. In a lot of ways, a bicycle is like a way to, to have freedom, to, to be able to like control your own destiny. We have bikes in our front yard, always. You know, there's never a time that there's not about 200 bikes in this house. Everything about Willis to Africa would not have been possible without my mom. I mean, 100%. You know, just, I'm lucky to have a mom like her. When a child has an ideal, you have to embrace the ideal, even if it is um, a little bit out of the ordinary. No matter how old you are, no matter where your position is in life, if you really want to like create change and you really want to do something and you and you show that to people, you can really do something big. Pretty cool story, right? I think I'm gonna go ride my bike now too. If you liked it, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.